In this twin time, come what may, let past be past for brighter days. The veil of illusion can now be seen through, for what is told is not always true. Know thyself with strength and might, and align thy energies with the good fight. And know the truth that comes from above, to be with God is to be with love. Take these words I now doth say, and apply them to your every day. And know with cycles the seasons change. On November the 1st, we start again. Blessed be my witches, and welcome to another episode of Witch Please. It is I, Odin the Seer, and today we are going to be making my Samhain candle. Okay, so I wanted to show you this top that I got from one of my close friends. This is Morticia Adams, and this is such a cool thing. It says, I am not sugar and spice and everything nice. And down here it says, I am sage and hood and wish a mother would. <laughs> All right, my witches. So let's get right into making these candles. You see, Samhain is a fresh start. Tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, on All Hallows Day, I will be, at sunrise, I will be lighting these candles, doing a ritual, and I will be continuing to burn these candles until they completely go out. If this takes one day, great. If it takes a week, great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a ritual for Samhain, this fresh start, this new beginning. When you set an intent with these candles, okay, it is your intent. It's something that you're going to necessarily do. You're going to do this. You are going to do this for the next however many months, weeks, days, whatever it is. It's, it's kind of like an affirmation candle. But if you can see, I have four here. So I am going to be making a couple more. And the reason I do that is because I have been known to use these as well throughout the year if I need to give somebody a fresh start. You are going to need nutmeg. Now, nutmeg is great for anything to do with a spark, with a creation, with starting something fresh. It's also very warming and comforting. It's almost like being in the womb of the goddess. This is very powerful. You want to start off this new year comfortable. You want to start off this new year being challenged, of course but you also want to start off comfortable. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be using ginger. Ginger is a wonderful power amplifier. And not to mention, it gives you great foundations as well. It assists you with being able to stay strong with inside of yourself, allowing you to be able to utilize the power that comes from within to make manifest in the reality that you are living in or the reality that you want to have. And because it's a root, it really does bring in that solidified, strong energy into this working. Cinnamon is wonderful for being able to help with the veil. <laughs> All the illusions that are told to us and all the illusions we tell ourselves on a regular basis to make our lives easier. There's more than one truth. There are so many things in this world that we just kind of shrug off or just shun or throw to the side because of the fact that the status quo says that that's not exactly what we should be aligning our energies with. And that's just not true. We need to remember at one point in time, people of two different belief structures getting married was not considered to be, it was a no-no. There are so many different things, you know, people of color and slavery, Irish with slavery. Um, you know, we have to really open our minds and realize that it was the thinkers that thought outside of the box that wanted to break down those illusions and really create and transform this world, bring in illumination, you know, let the past die so that the new can be, be understood and seen and experienced, right? So we bring in the cinnamon to one, protect 
our magic, but we also bring in the cinnamon to break down the veil of illusions that are around us, that are hindering us from achieving our goals and our dreams. Clove leaf is very, very powerful when it comes to the highest knowledge coming in, in a manner, in a way that is going to um, allow you to take the above and bring that into this reality. Remember the truth that comes from above. To be with God is to be with love, okay? So this is why we're bringing in the clove here. The clove is bringing in that divine truth, that divine power, that divine love, and allowing for us to bring it through our body and transform it to be able to live in this reality that we are currently in. Now, for those of you who have taken my magical herbalism, you know exactly why I'm using this sequence and why I'm using these oils in particular. Guys, if you're interested in taking the Magical Herbalism class, then just a course, sorry, it's a 12-week course, 13-week course. If you're interested in doing that, let me know. Send us that email at witchpleaseofficial at gmail.com and we will reserve a seat for you. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking our tallow. And our tallow here is dyed orange. And we're using the color of orange because it's very symbolic when it comes to pumpkins or when it comes to Samhain, when it comes to this time of year, autumn transformation change. Okay, so we're going to be bringing this in here. And we're using the tallow because the tallow represents, it's an animal fat. So the animal has died. It went, broke through the veil of illusion, right, into a new reality that we cannot comprehend at this point in time because of what we have been told. So we want to bring in that variable as well. All right, so nutmeg. I am going to be putting in 60 drops of nutmeg and then blessing it. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in 30 drops of our ginger. Now we're not putting in a lot of the ginger because the ginger is very, very potent and pungent smelling. So we want to be able to kind of balance that out a little bit. So the next thing we're going to be putting in is we're going to be putting in our cinnamon and we're going to be putting in 60 drops of our cinnamon. And last but not least, we're going to be adding in our clove and we are going to be putting in 60 drops of the clove. Mmm, I love the smell of this. I love a very strong smell of ginger. Even if you only put two drops of ginger in there because you want to have more of a strong smell of the clove or the nutmeg or the cinnamon, that's fine as well. Um, but just have at least a drop in there, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be taking a syringe and I'm going to be filling this up now. All right, my witches, my spiritualists, this is very important. Take the next 30 days, take all of November to be able to start implementing the good things in your life. Remember I said, let the past be past for brighter days, okay? Let it all die, my witches. Let all of the anger, fear, illusions die to be with God is to be with love. Focus the energy on the good things that you want to bring into your reality. Harness and utilize that power, my witches. All right, my witches, my spiritualists, that is our episode for today. If you have not pressed subscribe, you know you need to press subscribe, join the Witch Please family, and do not miss out on a thing. You can follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, as well as Facebook. You can always send me a personal email at witchpleaseofficial at gmail.com or you can leave a comment below. Don't forget to press that bell icon so you're notified when a new video comes out because you know you don't want to miss a thing. And remember, my witches, my spiritualists, we have a new course coming up in magical herbalism starting in two to three weeks. I can't remember when exactly it is. Loki has all the information, but if you send us an email, you will be able to reserve your seat for that. I've said it before, my witches, and I will say it again. It's a pleasure to have you in my world. It is an honor to have you in my magic. And you are always in my heart. I will see you again on another episode of Witch. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Please. <laughs> Happy Halloween, my witches. Love yous. Bye-bye.